angels, welcome back. I hope that you all had a really good week. So this week what we're going to be doing is a request. It is, is it really over between you and your person? So we've got two decks. I've gone back to the very, very probably first decks that I started using on the channel. My own personal favourite, one of my own personal favourites, this one. And we have the Green Witch Tarot as well. So Everyday Witch, Green Witch. Deck number one, deck number two, think about you and your person. And as you're thinking about your person, feel that emotion within your heart I really want you to feel that energy and push it to the deck that you are most drawn to okay so the one that catches your eye feel those emotions and feel them pushing in and if you can't see them pushing visualize a uh, pink color a pinky greeny color just to do with your heart chakra pushing it to the deck that you are drawn to number one number two as always it works in the strongest mutual energy between you all regardless of your individual circumstances okay Number one, let's do this. Okay, let's go, let's go. Can you get me into everybody's watching energies and all the people, all their people? Think about your person. Can we get into their people's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? Turnaround time is a little bit down this week. So if you want to book in, it's probably a good time. Um, England's really opening up again. Things are we're starting to be able to see people and things like that. So, um, yeah, a little bit down this week and then it's probably going to go back up. Okay. Think about your person. We've done that one. All thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes. Okay. So... What I'm getting from my right ear at the moment is it's not the specific song. I'm sure it was Eminem cleaning out my closet. It's not that song. It is just the, the lyrics cleaning out my closet. So there's been a lot of rubbish that has been happening with you and your person. And at this moment in time, even though you're hurting and you're sore and your heart is very, very painful, you're thinking that, you know, in a sense, I don't want to say that there's a sense of relief, but there feels to be a sense of, even though it hurts, maybe it's for the best. Um, so all this kind of rubbish that the two of you have suffered um, that you've been going through together, it's now that it's come to a bit of a close. It's kind of giving you a little bit of breathing space and a little bit of downtime, okay? So is it really over between deck number one and their person? Let's see what's happening. Is it really over? There is a lot of hurt. Uh, Spirit are saying there's kind of a lot of you might have felt a sense of betrayal with your person, whether they physically did something, emotionally did something or whether you're just feeling let down by them. There does seem to be a sense of betrayal happening and um, potentially, you know, if you do know about third parties, if you don't know about them, that's because it's not you. But if you do know about third party energy that is coming up, um, loss, grieving, sadness. Is it over though? Let's have a look. Is it over? It's definitely having a bit of downtime. So Spirit is saying that the energy between you and your person is a little bit dormant at the moment. So when they say dormant, they technically mean it's kind of gone to sleep. It's having a bit of a snooze. So it was really intense between you guys. Either something massive, that massive has happened between you guys, which has made you go the way you are, or perhaps they've just gone ghost and you don't really know what's going on. The majority of you, the energy is just this very, very intense heaviness, intense sadness going on. Now, with spirit saying that the energy isn't over, it's just gone to sleep. This is suggesting that it is going to be coming back together with you guys, but it's just not yet. So we have this kind of taking a step back. Things have gone a little bit peak tongue. It's all gone a little bit awry, they're saying. A little bit difficult, a little bit complicated. So where you two are at the moment, you are having a bit of a breather and you have are having a bit of downtime. Spirit is saying it's kind of this process of hibernation that is just you kind of going within yourselves, reflecting on things and coming um, out the other side. And even though you can't see that at the moment, you will do. They're talking about that quote that says um, about the storm. And even though you kind of mixed up in the storm, when you come out the other side, you might not even know the storm is over, but you won't be the same person that went into the storm as you are at the end of it. So what's happening with you and your person is, the situation isn't over, but it has gone to sleep for a little while. It, you need this downtime to just kind of heal yourselves. They need time to heal themselves. And this is where cleaning out the closet is coming forward. Um, there's been so much aggravation and so much tension and so much difficult times between you both that it needs a little bit of a rewrite. 
okay it needs this kind of rewrite happening rewrite of all these issues and turmoil that you guys have been through it needs to kind of start again start afresh um it's been a very difficult situation like i said the aggravation between you both has kind of built up and built up and this is what's left it in this difficult time that you know it's come to this close there's been a lot of tension a lot of aggravation um your person they haven't handled the situation very well with you there's been a little bit of self-defense going on over here as well a little bit of self-protection so they've been looking after themselves not really thinking of you thinking what was right by them you're in the background of their mind but their choices their actions that they created with the situation has been kind of done from a more selfish standpoint because they were finding it overwhelming difficult uh thinking how's it going to go in the future what pathway is it going to take if it carries on the way it's going so they've took a step back from it now like i said the situation isn't over with you but there is this sense of it has to come to a bit of a close so we have this ending of cycles and we have this beginning of new ones all right and there's a bit more of a balancing energy when it comes to that so really going through this transformation so where things have been where things currently are there is going to be an ending of the rubbish so that you two can start afresh if that is what you want. It's not easy. This step number one is not an easy situation. It's very difficult. It's very hard and it's going to take a lot of work. Now, that being said, your person can see that there is a future with you. They can see that they have this stability, security um, from the connection with you. But at the moment, they again, they're just kind of protecting their heart. They've been a bit of an idiot, really, with how they've handled the situation. But Spirit are also indicating to me that it takes two hands to clap. So the reason why you've kind of come to the direction that you've come to is they haven't communicated with you how they're feeling, what they want, what's really going on in their mind. It's left you feeling in turmoil. That turmoil has led to kind of these explosions, eruptions or ghosting. And that is where you currently are. So you're going to have a bit of downtime from your person as the energies kind of clear out, the negative energies clear out, and then there is going to be a fresh being brought in for a timing for it. Spirit is saying between July and August. Um, now, remember, that is your collective timing. If you want to look at individual timings, do give me a shout. But this cycle is going to come back round in July, August time. You've got action coming forward and movement. You've also got an aligning of your energies. So you have got to coming you've got it to come back round it's just going to take a little bit of time um because of everything that's happened like i said there's a lot of kind of negative energy a lot of bad feelings happening with you and your person um it's very tense it's very aggravated now that being said the love between you guys is still extremely strong it's still extremely strong but it's just on a bit of a downer at the moment it needs a little bit of a break everything got too intense it got too too difficult, too complicated and, and too painful for you both. So you had to take a step back from it or they kind of made the situation take a step back. Like I said, the good news is even though you've got this kind of bit of downtime from your person, it will come back round and um, the cycle will end and a new one will begin. Now I'm just going to pull your left Lenoma. Let me just pick them up. In fact, I will pause this and I will come back. They totally flew across the room then. I thought, I'm not going to take the camera with me. So, um, will deck number one and their people get back together? Is it really over between deck number one and their people? Person is definitely stubborn, standing in a stubborn energy. And they're feeling quite burdened by the situation with it. But there is still the love that the two of you share. So, when there is love, there is a way. good stuff all right might not seem so positive with what i'm saying but the actual outcome of this is really good so difficult at the moment yes where it's heading very very positive so at the very start we have this kind of um blocking this stubbornness this difficulties this lack of communication this sadness heaviness uncertainty what's really going on and your person they're not budging on this you're going to feel like you know even if you try to talk to them that you're being hit by a brick wall that is where you're currently feeling okay this situation needs a little bit of time a little bit of downtime as we said it needs a rest it needs healing you both separately need this you need this downtime from there, you're going to have uh, that your person is going to be having this sense of confusion over their emotions with you. 
So for now, we've got this stubbornness, which is leading to this blocking, this uncertainty. Um, from this uncertainty, we get this uncertainty of relationships, uncertainty of love, but it's a different, it's a flip energy. So negative energy, this is this uncertainty of if I have made the right choice, okay? So a flipping of energy really strongly, okay? Difficult to positive. From this love, then you have your abundance. So they're going to be a, a switch in the mind frame, things moving forward, things shifting, uh, love coming into you with abundance, lots of love coming towards you. And that abundance is leading to your ultimate success or stability. Now in Lenormand, the anchor is the best card. This is what was used to play the game of hope. This was the winning trophy. So you have got a positive outcome at the end of this um, in the two of you getting back together or whatever whatever you specifically want from this, that is a positive at the end of it. Um, it's just going to take a little bit of work. So is it over between you guys? No. Um, is it going to be easy for this situation to resolve? No. Can you do it? Yes, you absolutely can do it. It's just going to take time, but you have your overall successful outcome at the end of it. Things shifting and moving into your favour. A little bit of patience, spirit saying, a little bit of perseverance. Um, and keeping strong, you know, you're doing remarkably well in such a difficult, difficult situation, so much pain, I can really feel the pain of you all in my heart, and I know how hard it is for you all at the moment, I can really sense it, um, but you're doing so, so well, keep really strong with it, and if you keep strong with it, um, and you step into that power, you stay in your queen of swords energy, your bitch energy, your power energy, this situation will shift back round, um, it's going to take a bit of time, okay, I wish I could tell you it was going to be quicker, but it is, it's going to take time, but the overall outcome of this is positive, that's the negative cards, that was the, the start of the spread, is positive, okay, overall outcome of this is positive, and you've got your love coming in with abundance, and that abundance leads into success, so you have got a really positive outcome, it's just going to take a bit of time, but is that over, no, it's not, is it a is it asleep and having a bit of downtime? Yes, it absolutely is. All right, guys, so if you need me, just drop me a message. Um, drop me an email, Instagram, Facebook. Um, yeah, just pop me over a message if you need me. Um, but like I said, reading turnaround time is down a little bit at the moment, uh, but it's going to shoot back up in the next week or two. Things are really starting to shift in England now. Um, we're allowed out, we're allowed to see people. Um, managed to go see my mum and dad, which was really super cool because I haven't seen them since Christmas. So that was really nice. Um, so yeah, just drop me a message if you need me. Lots of love to you all. Lots of goddess blessings your way. Take care, my angels. Okay, guys, deck number two, number two, boys, as we would say in Portuguese. Okay, so think about your person for me. Can we get into their collective thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of destiny to as well. So as always, it works for the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situation. So let's see what is going down. Is it over between deck number two and the person? If you need me for a private reading, turnaround time is down at the moment. So I've got, I want to say it was Celine Dion, baby think twice. Terrible singing. Before you walk out of my life. Do you remember that one? I used to love that song. Before you close the door, baby think twice. So that is song is coming forward, first and foremost. Ooh, is it over with deck number two and their person? Okay. Four, five, six, and one. That's one. Seven. One more. Eight. Okay, I'm actually going to do your Lena math first as well, just to get a overview. Is it over with deck number two and their person? Let's see. To get the overall outcome. The Lenormand will give us very abrupt messages, but they are really positive. Well, they're, they're very good to use when you need those blunt and direct answers. Is it over? Yes, good cards. Lenormand are good. Okay. Right. Let me just get one more. I feel we need one more for the Lenormand. Okay. 
So you and your person, there is a lot of heartbreak. There is a lot of pain. There is a lot of suffering that is going on with you guys at the moment. But is it over? No, it's definitely not over between you both. Um, you and your person have are going through this kind of heartbreak, this pain, this suffering at this moment. It is a very, very difficult time for you guys. Um, there seems to be an issue with miscommunication happening here. So a lot of the reason why you are where you are is because things have been miscommunicated between the both of you. Perhaps your person didn't tell you what they really wanted to tell you. Perhaps you told them what you wanted them to tell you. Um, but either way, whichever way it's happened with you guys, there is this kind of sense of miscommunication, which has led to where you are. You guys are unsure on whether you should just cut this off. They might have just cut it off with you. Um, so there is this sense of pain and this sense of heartbreak. But at the same time, there is also this sense of transformation, things changing. So if you haven't heard from your person, it's not going to be really long before you do hear from them. Um, you've got a bit of a past with them. There's a lot of love that the two of you share. At the moment, there's also the sense of stubbornness that comes with it. But like I said, it's kind of coming down to miscommunication. At the moment, you're both licking your wounds, but these wounds are kind of short lived. It's not going to be a long time before the situation heals. Um, you guys watching have been debating for quite some time whether this is something that you want to partake in. Is this a situation that you want to be involved in? And it does feel that a few of you have tried to walk away multiple times, but then you kept getting drawn back. Spirit are saying that if this situation has come around multiple times before and you keep coming back to each other, um, then there's no not going to be a change in your circumstances this time. When I talk about more divine connection, I often talk about the helix, how you move in and out of each other's lives, like the DNA. Um, often the case with more divine relationships, twin flames, higher vibrational soulmates, you will wave in and out of each other's life. And this is what you and your person have been doing. So even though it looks like it might have come to a close at the moment, there is still this watching, there is still this stalking the social media seeing what's going on they're thinking of stuff that's happened within the past with you guys they're feeling fed up they're missing you as well if you're not in communication okay they know them themselves they know that the situation isn't done they're just having a bit of a breather from it um watching you definitely watching you to see what you're up to see what's going on you are watching them equally again kind of coming back to social media you might be watching them as well um and you might be feeling that they're kind of just in, not using the situation not helping with the situation they're just kind of ignorant over it but it's not it's not done it's not done between you guys there is pain but the pain is kind of short-lived like i said it's coming from miscommunication so I'm going to come back to these four cards, the tarot, but I'm going to talk you through your Lenama first. So we have your dreams, your emotions, your wishes, and we have commitment. So where this relationship is going, is it over? You've got dreams of commitment coming forward. So things coming into your favor, things coming true for you. From your commitment, yeah, from ring, you've got ring to stalk. This is talking about changes in the commitment. So this is them offering you more of their heart, giving you what you want, um, things changing, creating a shift, a shift within the commitment that you two have then making more of an effort that transformation that you're going to go through um is going to be leading to trust and loyalty so if there's been a little bit of difficulties where you two haven't worked very well together you've got this um energy coming forward over here of transformation to the loyalty your relationship transforming to a loyal one from your loyalty you from dog you go from dog to fox so just be a little bit careful of people around you be careful what you do tell other people about the situation and um, a lot of people like to get their pennies worth in spirit are saying so just be a little bit cautious on if you are communicating with friends over the situation as well um because your friends will be trying to say to you oh no don't do this don't do that trust your own inner judgment on it be, be kind to yourself, be gentle on yourself and trust yourself rather than your friends, okay? Um, trust in your soul, what you know is right. And then from there, you've got this movement coming, kind of coming back towards you. Spirit is saying as well with this kind of fox energy coming up, just be a little bit careful with your person in case they try to manipulate you. Um, they aren't a manipulative person, so to speak, but when it comes to you and your emotions, um, they know that you are kind of, you have a weak spot for them. You're, they are your kryptonite. They know that. Um, and because of that, they can kind of maneuver situations in the way that they want them to work by them being your kryptonite. Okay, with them being your kind of 
addiction side of things okay so just having a little bit of awareness for that when it comes back round uh, you don't really want history to repeat itself on this one because of the pain that it has caused you so what else is going to be happening you've got movement coming in from them movement kind of happening right here right now anytime now this situation coming back round you've got your celebration over the top of the two of you reconnecting um spirit saying re-embodying one another's energy so really feeling that bond that connection that the two of you share and that is leading to romantic new beginnings between you both and looking at the cards over here lots of changes in commitment giving you more of what you want the commitment that you desire the commitment that you deserve things working out is it going to take a little bit of work it will take a teeny weeny weeny bit of work a bit of teamwork going on really important that the two of you have open communication when it comes to talking things through um your person sometimes you're going to feel as if every time you're talking to them you're not really making headway with it um because your person isn't very good about communicating um how they're feeling they've often been shut down for communicating how they're feeling it makes you know they, they feel within themselves sometimes it makes them feel weak if they talk about their emotions um and so with that with your person really important to pay attention to their actions not their words um try not to fly off the handle at one another so every action we know has a reaction and every reaction has another action. So when they do talk to you about things and you see how they're feeling, just being aware of that. Um, try not to jump to conclusions. Let them openly talk to you. All right. And if they are kind of burying the emotions down deep, like I said, pay attention to their actions and not their words. If anything, even though it's dark and difficult with you guys at the moment, I just got it's always darkest before the dawn. Um, by Florence and the Machine. Even though it's difficult for you guys at the moment, the future is bright. The future is orange, Spirit just said. Remember those adverts? But also with that, you know, orange is really standing for your solar plexus energy. No, it's not. Your sacral chakra energy. Um, your sacral chakra is your passions. It is your womb. It is your creativity. It is the the passionate side of things that brings reality into your world um it's also to do with liquids in your body and sexual energy and things like that so with the future being orange there's great potential over here great potential for the womb of creativity to bring into your world the outcomes that you want overall outcome of this really positive when soon asap um listening open communication and you can bring this back around this pain that you're going through this heartbreak is very very short-lived it won't be for long okay guys and that is deck number two so if you need me just drop me a message i love you all lots i will speak to you all super soon and stay safe ciao my angels